Hey guys, this is Advantageous, back again with another Wi-Fi battle. Here, uh, showing off my cast form team once again. Um, I've got a lot of videos saved up, so probably I'm going to start by just doing a lot of these videos that I've uh, done in the past. So this one was the second video on Berlissify's uh, actual like Fan Fridays. Um, this one was a little... the other one was closer. This one wasn't as close, but this just shows how absolutely monstrous cast form can be. So I'm going to start the video. I won't be showing off every video I have, I just want to show off the cool ones. Like this one was just... I'll, I'll, yeah, I won't spoil it. But, so this is a perfect lead for me because I'm not fearing any... I'm not fearing either of these two. I'm going to have the sun set up, so they're just not going to be able to touch me. Um, and I just, I see that gastrodon, I just see solar beam, solar beam, click, click, click. <laughs> so a little obvious play here at the beginning. Um, and that Arcanine, I didn't know if it would have a certain move, but I just protected with uh, Charizard to sort of scout, let cast form do a little bit of work. Uh, but unfortunately, I, I guess he probably predicted that, because a lot of Charizard wise carry solar beam. So... He goes for the Protect, and yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I found out um, Arcanine has the Wild Charge, so it was a good idea I protected because I don't think I would have lived that. So I switch out, going to Excadrill, who is Choice Scarfed. Um, I didn't really do this for the type advantage, I just did this because I knew that Arcanine would most likely go for Wild Charge again. And I'd just be able to eat that up. Uh, so in comes the Salamence to Intimidate me, which... You know, Castform doesn't care about. Um, but yeah, so they obviously switched out, and this Solar Beam, even though it's, you know, high base power, life orb, it, it does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, so this time I'm predicting um, Arcanine to go for a Fire type move. So I go back into Politoed to eat that up. Um, and I don't know if he was predicting that or whatnot. Um, but anyways, I, uh, so I switch back into Politoed, get the rain up, uh, and this turn, I, I finally, like, you didn't even see it in the other battle, so I'm finally gonna get to show it off. Um, uh, and this was a good turn. I don't know what Salamence was predicting, maybe a Rock Slide? Um, anyways, so Arcanine actually goes for the Close Combat, which was a little weird, I found. Thought it would go for a fire move, and Polito would just eat that up. But then I go for the weather bond. Look at this animation. Like this is just so cool. And minus one Arcanine. It. I don't think it would have lived anyways, because that's stab in the rain from a life orb cast form with max special attack. Like it's it's just not living that. So anyways, this turn I could have switched up to Charizard and solar beamed that little slug guy to oblivion. Uh, but I said not to. And then we can see this support Politoed. Just just a beast. Like, it ate a close combat and a dragon claw. And then it fires back an ice beam. No special attack EVs. One shots this Salamence. Like, like this battle. This is why I had to show it. Because this is just power. This is how I play this game. So, Cast Morton obviously protects. So it comes the Gengar. I'm not even concerned. I'm up 4-2 right now. I'm not even concerned about this I don't even care I leave cast form in because I'm like it's done its job it took out a Pokemon so I'm like it can keep doing the work so I switch out to Charizard because now um, he could have predicted me again but this time he doesn't and see this is why look this is a sludge bomb from a Gengar and I'm living it this is why no focus sash just go for the life orb because I'm gonna live so I go for the solar beam I get it off um, I get a crit here, but it, it doesn't matter. I This thing might be specially defensive, but there's no way it's living that. It's four times special, four times super effective. Uh, so this turn, I just protected with the... Uh, I don't... See, I don't know what, what happened. See, I outsped this Gengar, which confused me. I mean, I am max speed timid, but Gengar has massive speed. And that ends up with a forfeit, so it's just... Yeah, that, that was just fine, you know. He knew he was done. Um, so I'm not really sure which uh, 
I'm not, I'm gonna check it out. You're not gonna be able to see this right now. Um, but Charizard. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna go to Smogon, because that's quicker. Um, how fast is Charizard? Yeah, Charizard Y, 100 speed. I know Gengar's got 110 speed, because I have a Kanto Classic one, and I ran that max speed timid, so... Unless it was more supportive Gengar? I mean, I guess I could outspeed it if it was modest over timid. But yeah, it was... Yeah, I, I, I didn't really see how I outsped it, but... Um, that's it for that video. Um, I could put multiples of these at a time, but I'm just going to do one video at a time. Um, so... Thanks for watching. There's going to be more videos coming your way, so stick around.